Okay, here today we're going to actually be removing the shingles around the skylight. It's leaking, so what we want to do is actually get everything removed and reflash this properly with some new flashing. So we're going to show you how to do that step by step. So in this case, we need to remove the shingles first. Okay, for this repair, what you always want to do is you want to remove the shingles starting from the top, working your way down. It's a lot easier once you get your top one removed. All the other ones are exposed, easy to remove those nails. But one thing you got to do too is if I want to remove this shingle. I have to actually remove the nails on this shingle up here because this shingle is nailed up here. So, you know, in order to do that carefully, you could use a, you know, putty knife or, you know, three in one tool or a flat bar like I am. And what I'm doing is basically just breaking that seal. You can see it's hot out. So, I mean, it's very sticky. Uh, in cold weather, you're probably going to end up tearing or breaking the shingle, depending on how old it is. This is fairly new. So, you know, the seal's coming off very easy which for me is very good. You can see on there. So now that I have that right open, you know, what I do is I slide the, the bar underneath and I want to hit that nail. So it, it gets right underneath, right in between. You see this pry bar has that section here, has another section over here. Now what I do, how do you use that? So you don't have to try to pry it up or get your hammer in there. You see that? Got underneath the nail, pulled it out very easy. And that's what it actually is intended to be used as. A lot of people don't know that. But again, you know, push it down, remove the nail. And you see how easy that comes off? And some of these will pull through, but we, we are going to be using new shingles. Um, so, I mean, you could tear it off too, but, you know, that's how you remove the nails the right way, how the tool is intended to be used. All right, you can see we have the majority of the shingles around the skylight removed. Uh, we just got to go ahead and pull some of those nails off, clean it up, and, you know, redo some of the stuff. But I wanted to show you guys, if you, if you come closer, if you look at these nails right here, you'll see rust starting to form on the top already. Now, there should be absolutely no reason why they should have rust. They should all look like these nails right here. But because they're showing rust, I know water was getting behind here and leaking through these nails. I mean, it's, it's very likely that's, that's where the leak is coming from. It's just these nails are allowing water inside underneath the flashing and it's, it's causing a drip. All right, now that we've got Shingles removed that's on the edges. We cut some of that ice and water shield so the flashing can come up easy too. Went along and went ahead and removed all the fasteners that were holding the skylight in place. So right now, we just need to take the skylight off so we can pull all the flashing and everything and start over. What they were also going to do to this one is we're going to put a new curve on the skylight. That way it sits a little better. This one here has some old frame that was used prior, so we're going to remove that old frame and put a new curve in there so we've got a right height on it for the skylight. Here's the old skylight curb that was removed. This guy was really in bad shape. Plastic and fiberglass, I'm not sure about the composition, but really unusual. I'm surprised the last installers reuse this curb. All right, we already removed the old curb. Uh, we installed the new curb, you can see here. We anchored it down, screwed it down to the actual rafter, so that's nice and secure. We also did the icy water shield. We started with the bottom, then their sides and the top will be last. And that way, again, water's gonna be shutting down. You wanna do it in, in a way that it's not gonna get underneath any layers. All right, now that we installed the ice and water, you can see we actually have overlapping uh, joints here. So when we did the bottom one is actually folded upward and then the bottom one is folded and closed off. So we'll put the little tar in there too and seal that off. But um, that gives for a better installation. You can see we have it on top, so it's sealed up. Water will not get inside of that. Once we put the flashing around there and the shingles, you can lay down the skylight, that will be perfectly sealed. All right, you can see here, we, we've got the flashing all done. Again, you do it in sections. Start with the bottom, you cut it so it laps over onto the top. Then you're gonna do your sides. And then this we're gonna seal up with tar eventually here before we nail it down. Uh, but we also have a little rim here, that way the water drags away, doesn't go behind here, and we'll sew that corner up. The top, again, you do the side first, fold it over, then you're gonna do your top one, 
and then we have a little channel so the water gets away from this here so that we want to get a lot of forcing uh, water going into some of those areas that are vulnerable but otherwise the flashing is done we just need to nail this down seal it up we can install a skylight and we can already start, put, start putting the shingles on okay adam is getting this screwed in we're starting to get a little sprinkling here a little weather is coming in so we're not going to spend too much time talking about the uh, rest of it we're going to get this done but we've got the skylight cap on now this is the completed skylight with the curb new curb and flashing installation you can see it looks pretty clean there just got to go and sweep it off clean it up a little bit but new flashing has been installed everything is sealed up in tar new flashing at the top you can see it's a lot cleaner than once before before it was the shingles uh, it wasn't done right so now the water is going to go ahead and just run off those edges now it's protected but this is a completed skylight installation with the new flashing installation <laughs>